Hey, what's up? It's Comic95. So, in this video, once again, another bitchy rant, if you will. But I wanted to address this because I find it very aggravating to me on a personal level. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that deals with this. So, I've now been in Japan for about nine months. And something that I noticed has increasingly um, become a problem here. And it's not actually with Japanese people, but foreigners, and occasionally a Japanese person, but normally other foreigners like myself. I find it very um, interesting that people have this sense of entitlement, if you will, where they feel like, I don't know, because of their ethnicity that I should be attracted to them. And or I hate that if I reject someone, instead of thinking about, hey, like maybe you're too old for me, or you're unattractive to me, you're maybe too fat, too ugly, whatever. Instead, people seem to like chalk it up to, oh, you know, you're only into Asian guys, you only like Japanese guys or whatever. Because it's not um, just Europeans. I've had um, South Asians as well as Europeans, as well as um, other East Asians even, come up to me and try to hit on me. And it really pisses me off because Part of me wants to reply and like say like, actually, I don't care about your race. You're just one, too old, and you're too ugly for me, personally. Like these guys will like come up to me like super unattractive, not cute in any way, shape, or form. And I'm like, why, why in the world, unless like I'm a gold digger or something and these people don't even look like they have good paying jobs. Why would I want to talk to you out of all the people that I can choose from? Why you? And instead of like just saying like oh like you know she rejected me she's not interested because i normally just give them the little like japanese x thingy i can't do it because i'm holding my phone with my other hand but um i like say dame or something like that to let them know that i'm not interested i've even pretended like i didn't know english because oftentimes when other foreigners hit on me they will you know talk to me in english first and then they'll um see if i know japanese because oftentimes the foreigners that do um, have the courage to talk to me, they have been here for a while and they're either living here long term or they're um, students here at a language school. So like I noticed that um, I've had predominantly, if I were to like categorize these people, it's been mostly Italians, French people, um, Sri Lanka or however you pronounce it, sorry I'm ignorant, um, and people from India. So, oh, and Thai. So like those have pretty much made up everything. And as for African guys, that's a whole other story within itself. But it's like, I swear I can't pass by. Um, I can't walk past an African guy or someone from Sri Lanka or India, I guess, <laughs> more brown skinned people like me without someone trying to talk to me. And I don't mind. I understand that in a sense, fine. You, I somehow managed to trick you into thinking that I'm attractive and I appreciate that. But if I tell you that I'm not interested, instead of like getting angry and like calling me a bitch or like making me, trying to paint me as being the bad guy, maybe you should take a step back and look at yourself. Like normally when I reject these guys, they'll be like, oh like, so you're only into Japanese guys. Or um, like, you know, say something like that. And I'm like, what would make you think that? I'm not here with the guy to start with. So for all you know, I could only date my own race. I might only like African guys. And you have no idea where I came from. All you know is that you think I'm a black girl. So it just really like aggravates me so much. And I hate it. Um, Cause it's not even, it's not just um, what Asians here, like I said, even Europeans. I had this Italian guy that was 39 years old. He was fat and bald. And I was talking to him because he came off as nice. I was in um, Ikebukuro. I didn't think anything of it. We were having a normal conversation, um, just about life in Japan. And then like he started like asking for more personal stuff like my line. And normally I don't mind, I kind of hand it out to anyone. But apparently like he tried to send me a message, like after we had met um, later on that day, he tried to send me a message. And like, I guess it didn't um, go through or whatever. And so he found me on another app. And so, which was really weird. And so he messaged me there and said, hey, like, did you get my message? And I'm like, no, I didn't. But I did accept your friend request. And apparently, like, Line has it set up 
where if you don't accept the friend request fast enough, if they sent a message with the friend request, you don't get the message unless you have it set for, I guess, where you receive messages from anyone, which I apparently don't. So, anyway, I told him that we could talk, you know, just see it right here, it's fine, like, on the OK Cupid app is what it was. And so instead of, like, just saying, oh, it's fine, like, he instantly, like, went off on me. And I won't lie, what he said was funny, but it was totally inappropriate. He basically said that I lack manners and that, um, the only, like, good company that I have is, like, my breast or something like that. Something, like, super, like, pig-like. And I'm thinking, like, okay, well, now you're showing your true colors. And this isn't the only situation. I had, um, a Swedish guy who, um, this guy I actually met online. And I never ended up meeting him in person. We had made, or he made plans. He asked me if I would go out to a bar with him. Um, and it was supposed to finish the way, to my understanding, um, earlier today, or now I guess last night, because it's after midnight. But, um, I agreed to it. It seemed fine. And to be honest, I really wasn't into him. I have really weird tastes. I don't care about ethnicity so much. I have like white guys, black guys, Hispanic, Asian, anything you could think of, everything in between. I don't really care about that. But I am very picky about who I will date. I have a really, um, strange type that I look for. Like, I'm one of those people where you can't make me fall in love with you. Like, I have to like you, um, from the beginning. Like, I have to find you attractive on my own. And if I don't feel, like, shy and that butterfly-like feeling, I'm never gonna have feelings for you. So, instead of him, like, you know, I can't even, like, really explain it. He got, like, super mad at me because I canceled. Um, no, like, this is what happened. Let me go back. <laughs> So today I was trying to kill time and I had stuff to get done with my school and so I went to my school and I actually recorded a video there. I went to my school and I was trying to study and get work done and while I was on my way leaving actually he messaged me and said oh you know you can come now and this was like around five-ish. We had planned to meet at seven and he changed the plan from meeting at a bar and asked me if I'd be interested in going to a festival which of course I agreed to. That's a lot more fun and I have not been to a festival here yet. So, um, anyway, I was looking forward to it, and I did plan to go, but honestly, I don't have a lot of money right now, and I didn't want to waste it, so I even told him, like, you know, as long as it's cheap and whatnot, and I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> more than likely, and I would have been expecting him to probably pay for it or something, but I always like having my own money, you never know, and I, I would never ask for someone else to, but hey, if he offers to, I would definitely take it up. I'm a student, I'm working, I could use it. So anyway, um, where was I at? So this guy, about an hour before, I, you know, I told him like, you know, I need to go home and charge my phone. Cause like he told me, like, oh, you know, you can come right now. Like I'm hungry, like I'm ready to go. And I said, like, yeah, hey, I would, but I need to, you know, get home. And I'm hot and sweaty. I wanted to change my clothes, freshen up, or, you know, do something with myself. And he was not understanding. Like, he got angry, like, like passive-aggressive type angry. Like, he was like, oh, well, you know, um, if you're gonna... Because, like, I told him that I was gonna be late. Like, he already wanted me to come early, but now I was gonna be late. So I said, like, you know, hey, maybe we should hang out another time. Another time was not working for this guy. But I think he's in Japan long term. So, like, I'm like, why do you even care if I say another time? Like, why is today so important for you? But he acted like he had done something really, like, special and, like, went out of his way for me. For starts, I didn't say that I liked him or that I was going on a date with him. We met on a website that's made for friends, which is Intervals. Two, he made the plans last minute, and I agreed to it. And technically, he changed the plans, but once again, I did agree to them. But this was all just hours before and three, I'm like, or whatever number I'm on, I gave him a warning. I didn't just, you know, not show up or say, oh, I can't make it. I told him that, you know, hey, if I do come, I'm gonna be like one or two hours late. And so he like replied back with a smart ass remark and was like, um, like, you know, you're just gonna cancel 30 minutes before. Like, if you knew you were gonna do such and such, you should have, you know, told me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you're not my fucking father. Like, I'm an adult. I have the right to cancel plans. And I explained to you why I did. I told him that I, you know, was on my way home from school and it was gonna take me a while and like he started trying to dig deeper and ask more questions like he's like how far away is your school and I was like you know my school is actually close to where I live in Shibuya but I have other stuff I need to get done and like that's what did it for him he was like if you knew you had other stuff so I'm like why the fuck do you feel so entitled to me like you're not my boyfriend you're not my husband this isn't a date and of course like 
it didn't stop there. We were messaging each other online at this point. So he messages me back on Inner Palace and like complains about me blocking him, which I didn't block him. I just hit my timeline from him. And so he was telling me that I was immature and I'm like, I'm immature, like you're the one being immature. You acting like you've never canceled plans before. And on top of that, like I explained everything I just said to you. He made the plans last minute and I didn't stand him up. And the place that we were gonna meet at was at his station. So even if I did stand him up and he did go all the way to his station, it's his fucking station. Which means that it's probably just a couple of minutes away from his home. It's not like I let him go like an hour or two away and then I cancel and decide not to meet him. So, <laughs> cause I know how that feels. I know that nobody likes being stood up. I don't try to do that, but this was not that case. Like I told him 30 minutes before. So even if, you know, he did get ready, at least he didn't go out the door and, you know, get all the way there. And trust me, he's in Japan, he's Swedish, he has blonde hair, blue eyes. I don't personally find him attractive, but I know that the girls here will. And maybe, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of other people for him. I don't even know why he wanted to go with me so bad. But I find it really funny how even when I explained that, he still like couldn't, um, he didn't understand or see how he was being rude. Instead, he messaged me and accused me of being rude for telling him that he was being rude. Because I said like, you seem like you have anger issues and I'm glad I didn't meet you in person because that's scary. I don't even know you and you're, you've like lost your mind. So what I'm trying to get at is I just hate that um, foreigners here try to like paint different pictures. Like if you reject someone that's foreign, they try to say like, oh, like um, you're too busy chasing after Japanese guys. You're only into Japanese guys. Or they'll say like, oh, like you don't like Asian guys. Like why are you here in Japan? And then you have the other side of things like where um, for Europeans, they try to paint me as being a bitch and full of myself. And mind you that in all honesty, when it comes to foreigners, 90% of the foreigners that hit on me are old, ugly, and fat men. At least when Japanese people do talk to me and hit on me, which happens all the time too, they are generally young and actually attractive. But even then, I normally ignore that too. I will talk to people if they speak with me respectfully, but it's like, I'm young enough to be your daughter. Like, don't you dare like try to hit on me and then act stupid like you're confused as to why I don't want to talk to you. Like, it should be extremely obvious. You're unattractive. You're old. Too old for me. So like, what the hell do you think? Like, especially that one guy, like, you're balding. <laughs> Why would I want to have anything to do with you? And sure, like, you don't know how old I am unless I tell you, but you can look at me and clearly see that I'm not even close to your age. You're almost 40 years old. That means that you have like 20 years on me. Why would I want anything to do with you? And on top of that, these people are crazy because it's like, especially the ones that I met online but like didn't actually meet in person because it's like now i see why you're single now i see why you're you know trying to find someone online because you have anger issues and i can go on with the whole list and like i said i've experienced this with every ethnicity but i'm definitely noticing that it's a lot more of a foreigner issue where they like feel like i don't know entitled to you or something like they own you and I really hate um, dealing with this with black people in particular because for them it's, it hits more home, it hits home more or whatever because they try to like paint it as you being a sellout like oh like you know we have a sister that's you know trying to chase after Asian guys and I'm like when did I ever say that to you? You don't know who I like, who I'm dating or if I even have a husband or a boyfriend for that matter. You're jumping to conclusions and making assumptions. And like I said, before you like get to that or think that you own me, like I'm your slave or something, maybe you should look in the mirror and think, hey, maybe this girl doesn't like me because I'm unattractive. I'm ugly. So, and to be honest, guys, you shouldn't want to speak to a girl that's so easy that all you have to do is jump off your bike and say, hey, let's have sex or say, hey, like, you know, give me your line. Like, I would be concerned about someone like that because she'll talk to anyone. And same thing for girls that, you know, talk to these guys. I've had so many, like, super cute guys come up to me, Ike Bukuro and in Shibuya. But I think to myself, like, okay, if this guy is, you know, just going to hit on me because he walked by and thought that I looked like Rihanna, he'll do that to the next girl, too. In fact, I saw this um, two times with two different guys. I go to Ike Bukuro a lot, and I sometimes wait there on my friends, or I go there to cool off. Because once I get to Ike Bukuro, I've been walking. I normally walk at night. Um, I would have been walking for about two hours, so it's the perfect place to um, stop and sit outside because there's lights, lots of people, conversation. It's great for people watching. 
but the downside is it attracts so many creeps. So you have to look out for that. Um, <laughs>